Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Ishin TX806 Leaf VTX. In this video I'm going to go over its features, measure its output strength, and then head outdoors and test it out. The TX806 supports smart audio using TBS Smart Audio Protocol. Its output strength is selectable between 25, 200, 400, 800, and 1000 milliwatt. In addition, it features an onboard microphone, it supports 72 channels and features an AM6 antenna connector. Inside the box, along with the VTX, you'll get in the user manual, a 6 pins connector, a linear antenna with an AM6 connector, and a 90 degree to either SMA or RPSMA antenna connector, depending on the version that you've got. The weight of the TX806 is just over 8.5 grams, so it is a little bit heavier than the TX805. And as you can see, it is shaped like a leaf, which will enable you to mount it diagonally on top of your stack. The distance between the mounting holes is about 41.4 millimeters, its width is 28.3 millimeters, and its thickness is about 7.8 millimeters. When setting up the VTX for the smart audio, you will only be able to set the output strength to 800 milliwatts. In order to set it to 1 watt, you will need to set it manually by long pressing this button for 4 seconds. And then in order to set it to 1 watt, you will have to select the fifth option. And now you can see that the VTX is set to channel number 1, band F, and the output strength option is 5, which means that now it is set to 1 watt. You should note that if you're using the smart audio feature, this option is not going to be saved. So if you'd like to set it to 1 watt, you will need to disable the smart audio feature. And after that, manually set it to the fifth option. And only after that, this option is going to be saved. Now I'm going to measure the output strength of the VTX. When the VTX is set to 25 milliwatts, I'm only getting around 10 milliwatts. When it's set to 200 milliwatts, I'm getting around 145 milliwatts. When it's set to 400 milliwatts, I'm getting around 420 milliwatts. When it's set to 800 milliwatts, I'm getting around 800 milliwatts. And after manually setting the 1 watt option, I'm getting around 1 watt. In addition, I also repeated the same test using another VTX, and the results are about the same. The next thing I've done is to head outdoors and test the TX806 out, and since I've already performed the test, I can tell you that it did very well, and considering that it cost only $15, it will give you an excellent value for money, and if you're looking for a budget-friendly long-range TX, you should definitely check it out. In addition, if you're debating whether to get the TX805 or the TX806, I think that the TX806 performed better than the TX805, and it's definitely worth the extra $3. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions about the Ishin TX806, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.